There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Y'all, hey, it's your girl. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? So y'all already know this is a wig tutorial with one of my favorite wig companies, which is Unice Hair. This is from their Amazon store, and I'll definitely link everything below. As you guys already see, this is a lace unit that has already been pre-everything for you. Okay, pre-cut, pre-bleached, pre-plucked, pre-styled, pre-approved, baby. And it did come with one comb in the nape area. I'm not really sure why everybody is not giving us combs anymore. But girl, let's try to make it work as best as we can. Now y'all seen this already came with some baby hairs already down. I'm going to remove some of these baby hairs. I don't want them all. But I think they did like a decent job. Now, first of all, let me just say this about you nice hair. They have evolved so much. Their wigs are very affordable. I love the fact that they do offer wigs on Amazon. You can also visit their website where they have more wigs that you can choose from. And I also do believe they are on AliExpress as well. Now, this came pre-styled for me, which means it came in a middle part. And y'all know I don't really do too many middle parts. So I am going to change the direction of that part later on in this video. But right now, we're going to fight with these baby hairs. Now, the wig is a water wave. It's 26 inches, either 24 or 26 inches. I do believe it's 24. And it's 100 and 180% in density. Now, I do love water waves. I love a very easy wig. I don't really like to curl hair. Not too much, not too often. I'm not like a curling person. I think if you've done it so much, you just you're over it. Now, right here is what I'm going to be trying to make the part crisp. Now, let me tell y'all something. Y'all may think that I'm good at making parts, but honey, I can never make a straight part. My straight parts never come out great. So, you know, if you ever see a part of my head and it's in the middle and it looks a little slanted, just know that I tried my best. Now, just to freshen up these curls, I did spray some water on my hair. I kind of like saturated it. The water did have conditioner in it. And then I followed it up with my Nairobi styling foam. Now, this detangling brush that you see me right here with is amazing. I think when you put enough pressure onto the brush, your curls look a whole lot more defined. OK, that is the key to making sure that your curls are more defined is putting some pressure on the brush. Now, I should have washed this unit. Normally, I will wash the units before I wear them, especially when they're wavy or curly hair. But I did get the wig the day before. And for some reason, I honestly forgot to wash it. And I just felt like, you know what? I could just do it just like this. Now, I do know that a lot of people do like to spritz their hair with water. But I'm going to be honest and tell you, if you co-wash this unit or any curly unit or wavy unit prior to wearing it, your curls are going to come out so succulent, so juicy, so much better than the stringy curl look. So I really would advise anyone to co-wash the unit prior to wearing it, especially if it's curly. And that's also the reason why I say put some pressure on the brush when you're brushing through, because this is a great brush to have. You can get these from Amazon. When you get your wig from your nice hair, you can pick up one of these brushes. And when you are just refreshing the curls, because day to day, we definitely don't want to wash our wigs every day. But if you need to refresh the curls for the next morning, you definitely want to have some water on hand with conditioner in it. Some of that Nairobi styling foam is great. You can also um, put, add a little water to your Nairobi just to stretch it. But make sure you put pressure on the brush when combing through. Now, this is the part where I decided to change the parting. Now, don't mind my little melting black elastic band there. What you see on my elastic band is some hairspray and makeup. But um, yeah, 
I love this elastic band that I'm wearing. It's it's more sturdier and a lot tighter than most, so it's my favorite. So yeah, that's just a nothing but a little bit of hairspray and makeup. But as you see, this hair is nice. It's very smooth. The hairline looks amazing. I think they did a great job with the pre-pluction of this unit. I don't even know if that's the word, pre-pluction. What y'all think? Y'all think that's the word, pre-pluction? But either way, they did a great job with the pre-pluction of the unit. The hairline is nicely thinned out, as well as it looks scalpish. They did a great job with the bleaching as well. There may be a couple speckles here and there, but nothing, nothing to get uptight about. Just throw a little concealer over it, and girl, you're good to go. Now, the one reason why I also do like to do a side part is because when you do a middle part, people do give you eye contact when talking with you. And a middle part is dead smack on in the middle of your face where it's more noticeable if it's a wig. So just to take people's eyes off of trying to figure out, I do like to put it on the side as well because it's just a lot less noticeable. It doesn't bring so much attention to the eye when someone is speaking with you. Now, I know there's a lot of women that love middle parts and that's your preference. But for me, I just prefer it to be a side part, especially on a lace wig. And also because my head is long. So there are only certain styles that I do like to wear in a side part. So wearing, excuse me, in a middle part. So wearing it on a side part also just, you know, doesn't show so much. Now, as you guys can see, this hair came out nice. It's decent. I do wish that I would have washed it prior, but it's okay. It's okay. It still did what it had to do and it's still laid and it looks very natural and realistic. Your nice hair has some affordable units. You definitely want to check them out, you guys. They are on Amazon and you know what? Amazon, Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time, girl. You'll get all your items on time and Amazon is an easy place to shop at as well as return anything that you may need. But I will definitely link all the information for you nice hair down below. I've done so many videos with them over the past couple of years, and I'm proud to say that they have evolved so well. Their units have stepped up so many notches from the first time that I've worked with them, and I do feel like they are a very reputable hair offender. Now, this is the length. I do believe it's 24 inches, if I'm correct. And just for the ending of this video, I'm going to put a little twist in the front of my hair just to see what this unit can do and just give you guys an idea of how natural the wig can look, regardless of how you style it. It is 24 inches, a 7x9, and it is 180% density. Thank you all for watching this video. Stay tuned. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Hit that like button on the way out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.